Okay, the video is going to be about conversion of this AM FM radio to shortwave. And this was uh, picked up at a estate sale a couple of years ago, and I've not done anything with it. Um, I should have taken the batteries out because open the back, they're still in there and they're corroded. Um, you can see the corrosion there, so I've got to clean all that up. This is a model 7 1600B. So I'll clean that up, get it working, and then convert to shortwave. I'll say one thing, I've never seen blue corrosion. I've seen the green, but not the blue. And uh, it's got it on that one, and there's some more blue corrosion on this terminal. Anyway, I'll fix that. Okay, well I just used a couple of sharp blades, and uh, tried switching on and got nothing. So the next thing, I've taken the screws out the back, and uh, it's pretty obvious what's happened, the positive lead has come off. So I'll solder that back on. Okay, that's that soldered back on, and I've connected up an old telephone speaker instead of headphones. Gives a decent enough output. So I'm going to keep that on there, I think. Uh, next thing, to convert it to shortwave. Alright, quite old school on this side. There is a LA3361 chip on it, which will be uh, an RF stage. Uh, may have AM and FM on it. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up, look up the data sheet. But what we're going to do is put seven turns, about 30 AWG, along the whole length of the ferrite piece. And it looks like they've put a few turns around for the FM in the red, and the rest of them are for the AM band in the yellow. I'm not sure, but anyway, we're going to add seven turns and connect to the tuner underneath here and that should give shortwave ability okay so taking this apart I haven't taken it apart yet so it's all live as it were here we are with the variable capacitor there we go right looking at the back this section here is the variable capacitor and it seems that the windings go to this side so that's where I'll connect to, I'll connect to the top one and hang on a second, the middle one and that should do it well I found that this, uh, these middle sections here connect up to one of these pins at the top so I've connected the start of the wire to that one soldered it on and I've done four or five turns so far and I'll carry on to do seven equally spaced and I'll connect up to that one at the top there, which corresponds with one of the wires that comes from the coil anyway, on the AM section. Okay, that's the turns done. I'm going to put a bit of glue on the end here. Also put a bit of glue on the wire as it comes to that top part there. And the last thing to do is to connect to that connection about 20 inches of wire to act as an antenna. That's the antenna wire connected, that's that blue wire passed it through one of the holes in the back where one of the screws screws would go but there's three others anyway so it'll be uh, nicely held together I'll put it together and try it out well hopefully you can hear this word this guy but he does correspond to about um, 8 kilohertz on this one yeah, it's very, very twitchy on the tunings, but uh, but it does work. All right, thanks for watching.